I hate math, oh I hate math, well oh well, I hate math, oh I hate math. Then why are you majoring in it? Because I want a job that might actually make me some money, Philip, unlike your little art school. Hey, don't insult my dance, alright? Are you talking about dance? Bert, have you ever heard of a famous math person? Uh, let's see, Einstein? Ah, you would bring him up. Bert, I'll make ten times the money you make, all right? And then maybe I could get out of this one-horse town. Would you stop insulting the horse? His name is Bill. Bert Balaban, you're my brother, okay? And even though we don't look nothing alike, I'm still pretty sure you're my brother. And as long as we're living together, I must keep you from killing yourself, all right? Now, stop studying math and come eat and let's watch TV. Eh? You know, bro, you're right. Stress is getting to me. Damn you, probability! Alright, let's watch some news. I need some excitement. Receiving 14 bullet wounds from police officers. <laughs> Fluffy the kitten will have to think twice next time he decides to sleep on a baby's head. Town City Lottery will have its largest jackpot ever next week at an estimated $21 million. But don't go rushing out to buy too many tickets. The odds of winning this lottery are higher than being hit by a bus. In lighter news today, a man was hit by a bus. Okay, who wrote this? Are you trying to make me look like an idiot? Frankly, John, yes. I hate you. Did you hear that? What did you say about that kitten? No, 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 about the lottery. The jackpot is $21 million. That means the odds of winning are... I know, we're, we're pretty screwed for winning. No, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. 45... Where did you get that calculator? And 46... And, and what are you doing? Okay, okay. There's six numbers and 49 combinations, right? That means that the odds of winning are... 1 in 14 million. So what? Well, don't you see? If we were to buy every single combination of lottery ticket, we'd win the lottery and come out with a profit of about $7 million. <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> well, I have $18 in my bank account. What if we just pick like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 as numbers? I like those numbers. And how are we going to come up with the extra... Uh, uh, lots of money. Thanks, Hans. Well, we don't need the money for very long. Uh, we take the money, mm. buy the lottery tickets, win the prize, and then return the money. I already have a few ideas. Hey, I got 14 million reasons why you want to be with me tonight. What? Well, uh, maybe, maybe not that. Oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, uh, call that. Yeah. Uh. Hello? Oh, hi, son. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fourteen million dollars! What? Son, I'm brown. I take the train to work, all of my knives are missing, and my elastic of my pant is broken. How do you expect me to come up with 14 million dollars? <sighs> Such a dumb fu- Let me do that. Bye. No luck? No, nothing tangible. He said something about trains or underwear. Maybe we could sell underwear? No? Hey, or better yet, what if we play Major League Baseball? <laughs> hey, little Timmy, do you have any ideas? Hey, little Timmy, how are you feeling? Well, anyway, I've got a great idea. Let's start at the source. <laughs> Saul! I know you're here, Saul!
Hey, Sally, this is my brother, Philip. Ah, my two favorite customers. So, technically, you and I have never met. Uh, so, what can I do you for? Well, we're in need of a loan. A loan? Sure. Uh, 5,000 sound good? 10,000. Uh, actually, uh, 14 million. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cannot help you in your cars, but try selling your bodies. You'll have better luck with that. Except for you. Hey, what's wrong with my body? Sorry, son. You got the bug eyes. All so round and beady. Look like your head's gonna pop. Plus, your attitude is a no-help either. You're like a princess on cocaine, sucking that stuff up through that falcon nose of yours. You're like an Icelandic matador. Excuse me, fellas. I gotta go. See you later, Saul. Huh. Bert, we uh, better speed things up. We're running out of time. Yeah, you know what? We should you know, probably just get a mortgage. Yeah. A montage! No, I said more! What did you do? I lost $400. We are 
we're never going to come up with this money. How much have we made so far? Close to 500000 with the sale of Dave Solomon. I really thought you had something going on there with those hoverbikes. It's a good idea. Too bad you don't know anything about science. Except math. Hold on. I just thought of something. A toaster that plays having a gill when the toast rises? Huh? Huh? No, idiot. Although, th that, that could work. Yeah. Got a great idea. Hey, little Timmy. How would you like to get better? Mm. Hello folks, we're into hour 23 of this fabulous telethon, brought to you apparently by two guys looking to help out a dying boy named Little Timmy. We're still looking for donations to come in from across the country. Little Timmy, do you have anything to say? He said, where's David Solomon? Ha <laughs> ha, splendid! While we look into that, let's check out the grand total on the board. 3 million nine hundred fifty six thousand two hundred and five dollars so far. Well done. I can't believe how much money we've raised so far. Yeah, uh, still not enough though, but at least we could still pay for Timmy. Wow, thanks to all the people who have donates, donated so far, we're still looking for the extra ten million dollars to help out little Timmy. Okay, well, to answer your question, Timmy, Dave is in Cuba. That's Dave in Cuba. Really? Wow! Somebody just donated ten million dollars! Who donated all this? Really? Dave? Pass your luck and everything? Wow! Thank you to this. Generous, generous Dave for donating all the money to make Timmy all better. We'll be right back after this. Yes. Need a loan? Need a pass? Call Sal at 555 Broke. The E is missing because I'm giving away everything. Can't pay me back right away? You got some nerve. Well, I worked in the Virginia Tidewater area as a cute speech translator for Harry Fleming, and by God, I know my way around a sledgehammer. So call Sal. After you? After you? <laughs> Hello. I would like 14 million lottery tickets, please. That'll be fourteen million dollars. Next. Well, uh, that was easy. Yeah, we were destined to win. Okay. It was All fate. Right. Huh? All right. Okay. Fate. Okay. 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 Here we go. Eleven fifty-five. About to announce the lottery numbers. Does it matter? We have them all. Eh? So to recap, the president has been killed, and the funeral will be held next week. And the lottery numbers for tonight's draw are. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and the last number is 49. Ha <laughs> ha! You would have been wrong. No. Oh, apparently there is already a winner for tonight's draw. What's that? He sent us a picture. Well, that's unusual. Anyway, let's, uh, let's put him up there. There he is, the winner of tonight's lottery, Aloysius Catastrophe. Winner of $21 million. What a horrible name. Not as bad as yours, Danglebird. Hey, you shut your mouth or I'll come over there and I'll shut it for you. What? Hey, we all know you don't have the you can't win. We I'm won. Banging your wife. I'm not even married. I'm also receiving word that there's a second winner in tonight's lottery. These two lucky, lucky SOBs are going to have to split the jackpot. So $10.5 million to each of them. On to other news tonight. Four people were hit by buses. Okay, okay, that's just too much. All right, you know what? Huh. What are the odds? Huh? Hey, want some of this? Yeah, do you? Do you? No? Okay, that's... It's okay. It's okay. Just starting. 
Get some bang for your buck. Nice body right here. Get some bang for your buck. What the hell? <laughs> oh, shut up, Timmy. You need to check yourself. Feels like I don't even know 